Hi, I'm Dr. Don Wood. Uh, many years ago, I was a finalist in the science astronaut program when they were recruiting scientists for uh, astronaut positions, and uh, it was a very interesting experience. NASA announced the development of a science astronaut program where they wanted to recruit scientists, engineers, medical doctors uh, as astronauts to perform experiments in space. After they selected finalists, of which I was one, they s flew us down to the Man Gray Sp Spacecraft Center in Houston and put us through a series of tests, including a jet ride where they did a zero-g gravity dive. The zero-gravity flight was, uh, was exciting, but it also was uh, a little scary since I had never done it. Uh, this jet goes up very high in the sky and then takes a dive quite far toward the Earth. and uh, you're uh, like you're in a zero G gravity. They put us through a fairly large series of tests in Houston. Uh, one was on the treadmill where they kept increasing the incline and speed. And I was very good at that because I was used to playing golf and carrying a bag. And uh, I actually out walked them all on that one. But they also had some tests to test your ability to operate uh, when your uh, equilibrium is disturbed. Uh, one in particular, they put you in a chair and rotated you, and then they tilted you, and boy, your uh, whole brain would just uh, go around in circles, and that, that was not very pleasant. We're all hopeful the space program will expand, and they will be exploring new worlds, going to Mars, and uh, they will be recruiting astronauts for many years. Uh, I certainly wouldn't uh, uh, tell a young person not to uh, have dreams about becoming an astronaut. It's certainly going to be a possibility for years to come.